Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. It's going to be part three of my Saturday morning Labor Day weekend beach walk in North Naples, Florida. And as you can see, great news, Del Norwegian's Pass State Park has reopened. They had a little damage from the hurricane as it passed by. The parking lots one and two filled up with sand. Looks like they got some water in here too. Still standing water. But the park has reopened and it is very, very quiet here. It's about eight o'clock. Only I've only seen a couple cars come in. I was talking to one of the rangers earlier during my break and he said there was only one car waiting at the front gate this morning. That is very unusual for a holiday weekend. Standing water all over there. We'll just go up into parking lot one, check it out. And here comes another car. I think the word's just getting out that the park is open. Tomorrow will probably be a different story. I don't think they shared the news until late last night. I don't know what time. Looks like they posted on Facebook around 9 or so last night. The good news. Again, if you haven't seen the park since Hurricane Ian, this is where the ranger station used to be. Pretty much all the buildings are gone here. The rangers' houses are back there. That's about it. Everything else got wiped out. And the beach is just over that dune there, that pile of sand now. Vegetation's slowly starting to come back. at how quiet this place is. I thought there'd be a steady flow of cars. Trust me, I am not complaining one iota about that. I can't believe that it reopened that, that quickly as Rangers really worked hard. Really worked hard to get this place open for you. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. And look back at the island where the ranger station used to be. I'm sure they'll be rebuilding. It's going to be a while. Remember, no facilities in here whatsoever except for some porta johns. I think the porta johns are here. I'm sure they have to have porta johns. No, they got knocked over. I'm not getting eaten up by mosquitoes yet. Yay. Nice breeze here. Nice breeze coming out of the northeast right now. 78 degrees. It is very, very pleasant temperature wise. It's going to get to all around 91, 92 today. 93. I'm talking about North Naples. Partly cloudy skies throughout the day. Right now it's kind of clear above me, but clouds around me. There comes a vehicle. I 
no grills here. If you're planning on coming and having a cookout, no grills, and you're not supposed to have grills in the park. Grills are not allowed. No alcoholic beverages either. I know, bummer. But that's state park rules. Parking lot one. Water is pretty calm out there, starting to clear up. Still a fine layer of sand in the parking lot here. A pile of sand there. A couple portage islands. There's still a little layer of sand in the parking lot, just what the machines couldn't pick up. We're going to have to work on blowing it off here. Still a little standing water. But who cares? All that matters is that the park is open. Hit that share button. Share the good news, spread the word. And as you can see, plenty of parking as of right now. Only two parking lots open, I gotta remind you that. So limited parking. I'm sure as the word gets out, it's gonna start filling up here. One of the pay stations do the right thing either pay cash or use the QR code on the sign over here don't be a cheapskate where else can you come for the day if it's your family for six bucks ha! that is it cheapest entertainment in town use that cash put a little extra cash in there for Florida State Parks they could use it area one sure is different looking isn't it there's a little Sun Saw some gorgeous colors this morning. Gorgeous. All pretty compact, hard sand back up in here from the tide coming up. Almost looks like fog rolling out up there. A lot of drift algae on the beach here. At Del Norwegans, they don't rake it up like they do Vanderbilt Beach. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt a thing. still going out but you can see it's definitely calming down
Just a few people out here. Some clouds over there to the east. I wonder what Vanderbilt Beach is going to look like down there at the south end down at Vanderbilt Beach Park. Good morning. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Great place to be. Great place to kick off your Labor Day weekend here at Del Norte Wiggins. Right now, anyways. There's a slight chance of rain, at least there was earlier when I checked the forecast for kind of mid-afternoon, I don't know, very slight chance. I didn't even check the tropics this morning. There's some stuff out there, but yesterday I said nothing to worry about. But it's a good idea just to stay informed. We're at the peak of hurricane season, very close to it, and things are starting to pick up out there, but so far nothing coming our direction. Hit share button if you're digging the views. If you go out in the water, just remember that there's a chance that some debris from Hurricane Ian might have got worked loose there from the bottom, from under the sand, as Hurricane Adalia passed by. So be careful out there. 
you never know what's lurking underwater. A lot of debris washed out there. The beach seems to be pretty darn clean. Other than that drift algae, that brown seaweed looking stuff. Well, it definitely looks like a fog bank coming at us here. Wow. Some very either that or some super low clouds here. It's always fun walking in the fog on the beach. Walking in the fog, living in the fog. <laughs> Boy, you've seen some neat fog. Gosh, years ago, do you remember during one of my live feeds? I gotta see if I can find that. I'll, I'm gonna reshare that. The fog bow, not a rainbow, a fog bow. You remember when we saw that fog bow? That was the coolest darn thing. I'm gonna find that on YouTube and share it. Never. I'd probably seen them growing up here in Florida, but just never knew what it was. The fog bow. If you go to Southwest Florida Television's YouTube page, just go in where you search the videos on that channel, my YouTube channel, Southwest Florida Television. You just put in there fog bow, the video should pop up, but I'll do the work for you and share it later on Facebook. we have crossed over to Vanderbilt Beach. We are no longer in Del Norwegans. It's supposed to be a mix of partly cloudy and cloudy skies throughout the day. Starting to get a little cloudier now. It's all right. Keeps the temperature down. It's not scorching hot. Thank goodness. No heat advisory in effect today. In the past couple days were a bit on the warm side. The day before, it felt like 115 in Naples. Yikes. It is very quiet here on the beach and on Facebook this morning. Maybe a lot of folks are heading to the beach. <laughs> Not a bad idea. I saw how empty that park was. So I'm going to get over there. I miss Dexter coming back. Yes, I'm sure I was up in Del Norwegians when Dexter came back up the beach.
my friends at uh, Swancha Irish Whiskey are setting up a couple of tastings here in Naples. They will be at Total Wine and also at ABC Liquor. If you think you might be interested in dropping by, shoot me a message on Facebook. If you'd like to come for a tasting, I'd love to see you there. Maybe get a little testimonial from you about what you think. Launch of Irish whiskey, the toast of Ireland. Good stuff. You can order it online and it's free shipping. Slancha. If you don't know how to spell it or say it, people have a hard time saying it. Doesn't look like the way it's spelt. It's an Irish word, Slancha. S L A I N T E. S L A I N T E. A lot of people say slante, slante. The proper way to say it is slancha. And it's a toast. It's an Irish toast. It's cheers. Here's to your health. Slancha. So, a lot of you fly down here and you are looking for transportation, something a little better than Uber, something private. Hang on a second. Look who just walked up. I thought I missed him. Nope, I'm here. He's here. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> Is that really you, Dexter? That's me. In the flesh. So, nice. What a nice morning. Here's it's a beautiful good. morning, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah, golf has calmed down. That's amazing. Did you see any dolphins? No dolphins today. So I guess they're still hiding. In hiding? <laughs> hiding from Rob is what they're hiding from. I guess so. Oh, man. Any good restaurants? Um, no, last what? night, Lemoncello. Uh, we're going to uh, Pewter Mug tonight. Going to hit the Pewter Mug? Yeah. So, I don't... so if you're on the belt, stop in. We'll, we'll see what's cooking. I want to see if my friend's working at the Pewter Mug, Simone. Yeah. She's always fun. She always takes good care of us up there. Yeah. The Pewter Mug North. Cool. I was just talking about burgers earlier. <laughs> I love their hamburger up there. I yeah. mean, it, it's huge. It's gigantic. I, you won't finish it. I do because I'm a pig. I shouldn't eat the whole thing, <laughs> but I do. I eat the whole thing. Yeah. It is awesome. So, but, other than that, um, uh, what restaurants? We, we like Bellini's, which is an Italian restaurant. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, we go there uh, for steaks. Old Florida Chop House. You like the Chop House up there? Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. Yep. So. Man, you got good taste. Yeah. I what do you think of Doromos? You like that place? Yeah. Up yeah. in the by the center bar yeah. up there? Yeah, that's good. That's nice. You ever buy any groceries or anything in there? Anything to take home? Occasionally you do. Yeah, yeah. they got good cheeses and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they. Yeah, yeah. They got great stuff there. Yep. A little, a little so. expensive, but it's good. Yeah, it's, high, it it's good quality. Yeah, it is good quality. I agree. All right, did you hear my stomach growling? Have you been to Angelina's up there? I have never been to Angelina's. No, I don't particularly care for their meals, but we go there for the happy hour. Uh -huh. They have a great uh, a food available for Oh, happy, happy hour, hour food at Angelina's. Yeah. That's yeah. like all, almost, that's that's in, it's, is it in Bonita? It's still, it's still Bonita, in Bonita, it's yeah. way up there. Yeah, it's up, kind yeah. of up by the hospital, isn't yeah. it? Up and around that yeah. area, Angelina's. Yeah. Cool. So... The North Naples Country Club opened up a new restaurant. It did? They, they call it the North Bonita Country Club now. Really? It's all the way up at the north end of Bonita, by where old 41 comes back. No kidding. Yep. You know where Lansdowne is, by chance, up, yeah. up there? It's kind of behind it. Oh, okay. It's kind of in the middle between old 41 and yeah. 41. Okay. Kind of like, uh, what's that? I forget what that's called up there. That Burnwood, that yeah. Burnwood area. Okay. Yeah, so now they have the North Bonita Country Club. Wow. 
fancy place. Got an upstairs and a downstairs. <laughs> That's a real country club. We still don't have to have a membership. Oh, that's They'll good. let you that's in. Good thing. Yep. All right, Dexter. It's good chatting we'll with you. Monday. If you see a couple dolphins, send them my way. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Always good seeing Dexter. Him and his wife, Robin. Boy, they eat out a lot. I couldn't afford to do. I cannot afford to do that. <laughs> I'm lucky if I can get a happy hour hamburger somewhere. But they love eating out and it's got good taste. Good taste. Dexter says it's good. It's good. So what was I saying? Transportation. I was going to tell you, transportation. I know a lot of you come down, you fly down here. Some of you just come back and forth for a week or two and go back north, come back down again. You're always looking for dependable transportation. Well, my friend Randy, I don't know how many of you remember Randy's fish market here up in North Naples. It's up on a, a 103rd, 103rd Avenue North up in North Naples. Well, Randy... He's out of the restaurant business. He's always dabbling with it, though, trying to get back in. But he has a transportation company now called Naples Dash, Naples Hyphen, Naples Dash Marco Transportation. Give them a call. Look them up on Facebook. Look them up on the internet. Remember that Dash, Naples Dash Marco Transportation. And if you do use Randy's transportation service, ask for my wife, Gail. She drives for them. Ask for Gail to be your driver. We'd appreciate that. starfish that washed up on the beach here. So, I'm going to put them in a little deeper water. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. Oh, it's a beautiful. I'm going to put him out in some deeper water. It's a little five arm. He needs to go out into deeper water. I don't know if he's alive. A little five arm. He, I might, there might be a little movement there. Beautiful, beautiful little creature. A little five arm sea star. Not really a fish. Sea star is the proper term. Send them off. Get them down beyond that ledge. Enjoying the walk if you appreciate what I do send some stars on Facebook. I get a penny for each star that you send I don't see any stars there right now That happens Remember I can't 
I just could not be out here if it wasn't for your financial support. Wish I was independently wealthy, but it's either come out here and get some stars and tips or go somewhere else and work. I'd rather be out here on the beach with my beach family. So it's all kind of up to you guys. Got a couple videos to share later and some photos of this morning's early colors. Our first look at early morning. The early morning colors just before sunrise out here are always beautiful. Well, my friend Dexter, who I was talking to just a little while ago, it was something. I would see him walking the beach in the mornings at Del Norwegans. Then it was just, you know, it was a little nod in the mornings, and it turned into a good morning, and then a little, hey, how you doing? And then struck up a conversation, and found out he was, him and his wife were, had a place here in Naples, and they were coming down. You know, for the winter months from Ohio. A few years later, lo and behold, they're living here. <laughs> Met a lot of people like that. A lot of friends like that. Friends that were following along on our beach walks, and then all of a sudden they wound up here. It's not why I do this. I'm not out here for tourism. I'm out here just for the social aspect of it, to give everybody kind of a fun, safe place to go to on Facebook and meet new friends, check in with their old friends. The beach is just our meeting place. The beach sells itself. We've seen all the different faces of this beach. We've seen it when it's been pretty angry. Seen it in all conditions. Pristine, crystal clear waters. Red tide. Oh, we've seen it all. And still here. And so are we. Blast the sunlight now, lighten up the beach.
those shades of blue are gorgeous. That super light, powdery blue sitting on the water. And how it radiates and just gets darker as it goes up. Drift algae piled up morning. here. Good morning. How are you doing today? How are you? I am awesome. A lot of good shells today. You finding some good stuff? I am. What you got in your little bag of goodies? And I've got my Jimmy Buffett on. Oh, nice. A yeah. little Buffett on the beach. That's well, good. he passed away today. Oh, did he? Yeah. Jimmy died? Yeah, Jimmy died. Oh, you That's need to find a little tree to hang a shell on for Jimmy. I'm going to. Are you going up to Wiggins? You going to make it that far? Uh, maybe. i got to walk back. So. I know. That's the... Some oh, nice. Ones, though. Oh, Jimmy passed away. Oh, yeah. saw him just more today? than any other artist. He, just this last morning, night. last yep. night. Oh, last night. well, that's yeah. sad. Made a lot of people happy. That guy. Yes, he did. He was happy. He was, happy. <laughs> he was a happy-go-lucky kind he of guy. Was. May we all be happy. Yes. <laughs> you too. No, well, Jimmy, I didn't see that. I did not catch that on Facebook. Jimmy Buffett. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people smoking a little something funny today in honor of Jimmy. <laughs> wow. I guess everybody's not going to get to meet Jimmy when Margaritaville opens up in, on Fort Myers Beach, huh? I know they were planning quite a celebration for that grand opening. got a couple friends that are huge Buffett fans, parrot heads. I bet they're down in the dumps today. I got a friend of mine that would travel all over to Jimmy's concerts when he could. you were out here with me. I wish you were with me on Facebook. There's hardly anybody out there this morning.
Ooh, here comes a blast of sun. A nice blast. Big difference in the colors when that sun comes out. Brings out a little more of the blue in the water. Not seen any of those greens. Those emerald greens. The emerald coast. I wonder how busy the hotels are this weekend. I wonder if they got a little holiday weekend crowd. Give them a little boost here. Because it is always dead here, August 10th. Quieted down. It seems they have quieted down a little early in August this year. Not sure why. See a little bit of green color in the water there. Well, you go back just a couple weeks and the water was really, really looking good, starting to clear up nice, beautiful colors, and then along comes the hurricane and messes everything up. I guess. Darn old hurricanes. <laughs> the darn old hurricanes.
all the umbrellas and beach chairs out at the La Playa. Pretty good lineup of them. Don't see many people sitting under them though. Still setting them up. Setting a lot of them up. They must have a bunch of people in the hotel. That's good news. Some little snowy egrets down by the water. Very blue now with the sun behind the clouds. Our Saturday blues. You know, I'm thinking one of the reasons things might be kind of quiet here this holiday weekend, a little quieter than they normally would be, it's probably just because of the economy. It's getting harder and harder for people to go out and have fun. Got to take care of the necessities first, feed the family and keep the lights on, keep a roof over their heads that could be contributing to why it's quieter than usual here for the Labor Day weekend. I got my first stars. I got a hundred stars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was beginning to wonder if they were even working. So I got a dollar. Thank you. A penny for each star. Thank you. Every penny, every dollar counts. It all adds up. Again, tips usually appreciated right now. Bill time. It's bill time, my friends. You can only continue to come out here with your support. Keep that in mind. It's up to you. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post if you'd like to send a little thank you, token of appreciation. You can find me on Venmo and Apple Pay. Also, Venmo, awesome. No fees on Venmo. No fees for you on any of those, but no fees for me on Venmo. I like Venmo. in and out now. Big difference in the temperature too when that sun pops out. This one warms things up quick. Then when it goes behind the clouds it cools off again. 
you can see here if you look in the water that kind of darkish reddish brown in the water you can see the drift algae on the shore you kind of see it in that little there's a little ridge right out there in the water where that dark line is that's more of it getting caught up there again it's nothing that's going to hurt you it's kind of not the prettiest thing to look at in your pictures but there are beaches where that's just that's the way of the beach seaweed all the time on the beaches here we just kind of get spoiled Again, hey, if you're just tuning in here, Del Norwegian's Pass State Park is open. That's where we started this live feed up in the park. It was very quiet. I'm sure it's getting busier. I think a lot of people weren't aware that it reopened. got some dolphins out here unfortunately I cannot zoom the camera in a school a pod a school a family kind of hard to see they're going up to the right. Ah, trust me, they're out there. They're out there doing their dolphin thing. Wish they'd come in close. club under the coconut palms I think I'm gonna be calling it a morning here I think I got a couple stars thank you y'all have an awesome Labor Day weekend I hope I helped to get your holiday weekend off to a little nicer start with the beach walk Always fun starting the day at the beach. Remember who's doing all the walking for you. Little old Rob. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Invite them into our Southwest Florida Television Beach family. Plenty of room for new members. Plenty of room.
Again, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for allowing me into your lives and onto your screens. I don't know why you do it, <laughs> but God bless you. You're awesome. Before I go, a quick reminder, all the folks that were in the path of Hurricane Adalia, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. A lot of destruction, a lot of lives turned upside down. And also, those people in Hawaii that went through those horrible fires, please, please, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Our fellow Americans, fellow brothers and sisters. Sometimes we don't think about Hawaii being way out there in the Pacific. Kind of out of sight, out of mind. But they're a part of our country, and God bless them. Keep them in your prayers. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, everyone. Tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless you, and God bless America. Tally-ho.